Hey guys, it's Kirsten Spencer with Kirsten Spencer Photography. So, I am a chronic uh, too shallow shooter. Like we're talking like this was shot at 135 at f2. So you can see the um, the little bucket list that I have here is uh, not only slightly out of focus, but you can't read it very well. I mean, you know, kind of, sort of, but not really. Um, the focus is on her eyes, not the list. I should should have shot at like you know, 5.6, 4, whatever, but nope, F2. So what I did, let me show you this, um, is I made my list a little snazzier. So let me show you how I did that. Okay, so this, this is the template right here without the marching ants. There we go. So this is the template I made in Photoshop. So what I did was highlight the things, right? you go to um, edit, define brush preset and call it like bucket list, which I already did, so I'm not gonna do it again. Um, call it bucket list or, or whatever. Um, then when you click on the brush, now you got a bucket list brush. So what I did was I clicked on the square with a plus sign, which is another, actually maybe I should zoom it up gives you another layer to work on. Then I got the brush. Then I lined it up, you know, as best I could, which is maybe like this. Um, black at 100%, yes. Then I did one little click. Then click on the Move tool. This is where it gets really satisfying, so hang on a second. Um, it's kind of easy to line up the banner now, keep in mind the wind, you know, there's a lot of factors why it doesn't line up exactly. But we'll get it pretty close. Okay, so the banner looks fantastic, but you can see there's a little ghosting down here. Um, no big deal. We know, how to, we know how to deal with that. Okay, so the banner lined up almost perfectly. Maybe I have to rotate it a smidge. Hang on. Okay, but there's a little ghosting down here. So what I did was edit, transform. I think I did warp, let's try warp. So up here, maybe I had to bring the word list down a little bit. Move that a little bit. Move that up a little bit. That looks good, actually. Okay. Then to make it look a little bit more realistic, I think I just lowered this down, like, you know, let's just say 60. Okay, then add a layer mask, which is white. So get a black brush, obviously not that black brush, but let's get a hard brush. Use the left bracket key to make it smaller. Obviously, some of the letters are burnt away. Actually, I'm gonna make it soft now, just to show that it's starting to get those letters. Okay. That looks pretty good. Okay, so this is, we got some natural fire. The fire just actually like took off and made it super beautiful. It just like happened to work out that way. Um, as you can see, well, no, I guess I'm on the straight as the straight out of camera. Um, I had to add the tassel in. <laughs> um, she forgot her tassel at home, so I had to add that in. Um, but anyway, but you can see on the finished product, it's the same fire that's on this. I literally just darkened the letters and added the tassel. No big deal, right? Um, however, if the fire wasn't totally awesome, like you were thinking, you can download a fire, well here, let's, oh, Facebook, <laughs> sorry. Let's just go flame, I don't know, let's just do a Google search of flames. Um, 
let's see if okay this flame looks good oh this flame looks good let's have a little looky okay this flame looks good so I'm gonna right click save image it's already called flame in my downloads yeah all right, so this is a little hack. As long as it has a black background, you're good because of the blending mode. So let's go back over here. I guess I can flatten that because we're good. We're committed. File, place embedded or place linked, either one. Go to my downloads, click on the flame. you can see it there we go all right we're going to change the blending mode on the flame layer to screen screen will get rid of the black whoops trying to small on it there we go wonder where it would look better Maybe not up by your face, maybe down here. Okay, so we're gonna double click, get that right there. But we have to add a layer mask because we need to erase some of it. So we want a black brush. There we go, just to enhance the flame a little bit. I feel like it needs to be a little bit blurred out. I'm not 100% sure. Let me do a little Gaussian blur. To make it look like the other flame. Okay, maybe like six. Actually, that looks, that looks pretty friggin' awesome. All right, anyway, so I'm gonna put uh, the template right here in Etsy. Okay, thanks for the great idea. See you there, bye.